Today's quick tech tip, Instagram opens up the aspect ratio. Hello, my name's Chet Davis and I'm your technology tutor. Now you may have heard of Instagram before. It's a social media photo and video sharing app that was launched and founded in October of 2010. Latest estimates put the number of Instagram users over 300 million, 300 million users sharing photos and videos around the world, really connecting socially. Um, I've been using the service for a couple years and I have actually two different channels, one under my name, Chet Davis, and a, one under my um, uh, brand, my business, Your Technology Tutor. Now, big news this past week, and that is that Instagram, which since the beginning has been sharing photos, required your photos, restricted your photos to be square rather than rectangular. Now, most devices, you know, take rectangular photos. There is a setting in most every contemporary camera, special digital cameras and especially smartphones, etc., that have a square setting primarily for Instagram. But this past week, a new release, an update for Instagram, now allows for rectangular or square photos. You get to set it yourself. So we're going to go ahead and launch the Instagram app and I'm in the setting that allows me to import photos. So I click here and I'm in my folder called favorites. Now this is a square image. This I prepared as a square image to be shared on uh, Instagram and other um, social media. And see there is no option but if I switch to a photo that is vertically longer. See, as I move this up and down, my wife and I in the vineyards of Healdsburg, California, take a look at this new button in the bottom left corner of the photo. This button here allows us to switch. If I want to show the photo full frame, I simply tap this button and it will show it with the borders intact. So it does allow me to show my photo full frame. Some people were doing their photos full frame on Instagram, but they had to take it to a separate app first and then bring it over. Now you can do it right inside of Instagram. So it's cool again. Now here's a totally square photo and you see the little button's gone. On a square photo, the button is gone because there is no option to go full frame. But on an image, let's do another one here. Here's an image that is uh, longer in the horizontal or landscape view. And you can see there's a square version, so I can still crop it square according to where I want to put it, or I can go full frame and it will have um, the, you know, the window box. It does have the uh, blank at the top and the bottom so that the full frame fits in there because Instagram is still going to be a square delivery service. But the cool thing is if you have your Instagram account linked up with your Facebook account, for example, or your Twitter account, and you share photos on Instagram that are linked to your other services, it'll be square within your profile on Instagram, but your Instagram friends will be able to see it full frame with the borders, and if you post it to Twitter or Facebook, or another social media service, it will show up full frame without the borders. So very, very cool new development, and it's the latest incarnation, and this was released August 26th of 2015, the new Instagram app. I don't want you to miss any of my future tutorials, tips, articles, videos, workshops, books, and other learning material to help you get the most out of technology. To do that, go to my website, yourtechnologytutor.com. That's yourtechnologytutor.com. In the upper right corner, right here, enter your email address and your first name and click the subscribe button. Again, Chet Davis, your technology tutor. Thanks for joining me today.